Get in there. Let's see, six. We're at four. We're at seven. Yeah, I think this is fine because he attacks back. We block, we're going to take two, and we're getting three life. Unless he somehow kills us. Which he could do. But if he kills us, we're dead anyway. So, yeah. Get in there. No. Dang. So, ooh. You can kill that. Should have played that first. Oh my gosh, complete misplay. I didn't realize I could kill that. Now you can switch that over there. Darn. Hmm. Hopefully it won't matter. I do I like like how long he's taking? I don't like how I mess that up. Okay, so apparently I was priority bugged. But that's good because he did not switch battle gear oh my god that's so good because now he can only attack with that and I don't need to block but I like to trade yes <laughs> Oh my gosh, come on. He's gonna draw a card, but well, I go seven. Hopefully I draw something relevant here. Dang. I gotta equip that up. Lock that and sack it. Thinking about drawing the two. 
That will be fine too, because then you won't have metal craft. No. So if he doesn't have metal craft, I can block the glider. Unless he realizes it and plays something beforehand. It's such a close game. Ah, darn. Stupid flying. I don't know. What is this? Oh. I see. Sack this right now. All right. So plan now is since it's looking like I'm going to lose game one, even if I do rip something spectacular like I don't know, coalition reigns. This would have to be the target and. You know. I guess I could do it now, but yeah, why not? That's yeah, not gonna do it. Yep, that will kill that. I need you so much sooner. <laughs> kill that, and then I'm left with this huge guy. So, okay. I don't think there would be any sideboarding anyway, so I'm just going to save and hope that this comes up. Alright, so the video for this is uh, corrupt, so here's a replay of it. Keep a, a decent hand, I think a risky hand, and um, draw that Lux Cannon. Trying to narrate here, we do draw a top deck a mountain. Now here I decide to galvanic blast his creature because I'm assuming I'm going to draw a land and I'm never going to get another chance. Because uh, for the next two turns I'm going to be tapping out. So that one mana is pretty useful right there. Plus I also didn't want him to get the chance to draw those two cards and draw out of his mulligan. So we keep adding counters to the Lux Cannon and tap out some more. Now here's a good thing. I, I see that coming to play. I'm like, hmm, that seems like a good target to, to bounce. So we take five here. Let me draw a pretty good card, but we're going to go ahead and bounce the... Uh, the 3-3 three, three, in hopes of blocking and then using my one minus one counter to kill the uh, seashell or the the eel but then he plays that so we are forced to play this metal scrapper and kill that he sacks in response to kill our mirror which is whatever 
and we pass the term with box open. And the delayed removal spell. <laughs> he plays another one, and really, I don't know why. <laughs> Here we actually could have attacked with the 2 2, but uh, didn't really think about it. We drew uh, a shatter. Basically removal, so I opted to keep that rather than the mirror. I thought it'd be more relevant than just some random one one. He plays something irrelevant, and we're gonna win this game pretty much. It's in the bag. We drew land. He decides not to block eventually, and we play a big dragon. He draws a card, and here comes the concession.